Welcome to my workshop. I needed a print frame for some cyanotype I'm working on, so I decided to make one. Since I couldn't find any information on the web about how to do that, I decided to document my process. And this is the result. First, uh, get some cheap wood. Um, three quarter inch stuff will work, uh, although this stuff is a little thicker than that. Cut four strips, the length that you will need to make your the frame. Uh, cut them an inch and a quarter. Cut the long pieces to length. In my case, I want to frame eight and a half by ten and a half inside. So, I'm, and my stuff is thirteen sixteenths thick. So I need twelve and an eighth inches. And cut the short pieces to length. Since I want eight and a half inches and I want to let the, the side pieces into the long pieces an eighth of an inch, I'll need eight and three, eight, three quarters. Next I need to cut some grooves to hold the glass and the springs. Both are a quarter inch in from the edge and a quarter inch deep. The long ones get two grooves and the short ones you need just one. If you cut the grooves in the long piece, you can cut two grooves. It doesn't matter if there are two on the short one, but if the one is not necessary. Mark the ends of the groove side of the long pieces, the thickness of your stuff. In my case, 13 sixteenths. Cut a rabbit joint. I cut this one with a table saw, but you can cut it with a hand saw. Clean up the joint with a chisel. Mark and drill some screw holes uh, into the rabbit joints to hold the frame together. Countersink the holes if you have a countersink. Uh, if you don't have a countersink, just go out and buy one. It's a really useful tool. Mark and cut some chamfers on the glass side of the, the frame. Uh, that'll keep you from getting the shadow line from the, if the sun is low in the sky. Cut the chamfers with a chisel or a plane. Now figure out how big your glass should be. In my case, my groove is really only about 3 sixteenths deep, so I think I'll add an eighth of an inch to each, each side. Since my interior ended up 10 and 5 sixteenths instead of 10 and a half, no worries. Uh, I'll just add an eighth to each side. Then cut the glass. In my case, 10 and 9 sixteenths by 8 and 3 quarters. Screw one side of the frame together. Insert the glass and then screw in the other side. And the frame is done. I use screws, not glue, in the joints in case I, I ever break the glass and need to change it. Uh, I can take it back apart. Now cut a piece of 3 8 inch plywood for the back. Make the long measurement exact and the short measurement uh, about an eighth of an inch less than the inside diameter of the frame. Um, the long measure is exact because when you cut that piece in half you'll lose an eighth of an inch from the saw curve. Cut a piece of rubber which you can buy at uh, any art store uh, to fit the back. Glue up the plywood and put the rubber on. Put a heavy weight on it and uh, leave
even for an hour or even overnight if you want to. Now I'm cutting a couple of uh, 3 8 by 1 and 3 16 by 1 and 3 16 blocks. Oh, let's cut them back in half. There it is. Uh, leave about a sixteenth of an inch gap between the leaves and then screw some hinges onto your back. You might need to cut your screws off if they're too long, which is why I have those lines required. <laughs> Hey, it fits. Uh, good. Uh, next, center up your blocks and glue them down. Uh, and, and as you can see in this uh, piece, the, the leaves are half and half. They're each equal size. But uh, since I made this, I've been looking online and I've seen some old ones where they made the leaves uh, two thirds and one third. So I've never used these things. So I don't think it matters, but. Uh, you may want to consider that. Anyway, glue the blocks in place. Uh, now cut your springs. I use cheap stainless steel rulers, but you could use wood. Um, although you might have to cut the groove a little wider if you use wood. Possibly if I, I did this again, I would prefer using some sort of nice wood. Uh, but in this case, I'm trying to do it as cheap and quick as I could. Anyway, I broke my rulers uh, to lengthen a vise, and then I used a grinder to cut a, a slight curve on the end of each one. Mark the center of the springs and drill a suitable hole. One half inch in from the hole on each side, make a suitable bend. Uh, in this case, uh, you pr I probably should, this is too much, I probably could have done about half that, and it would have been fine. Now, rotate the springs into place, as you see on the top, into their grooves, and then mark the hole on the block of wood drill some pilot holes and screw the springs loosely onto the bag and you're done. Finished and ready for an 8x10 cyanotype. Ah, thanks, I hope, hope you enjoyed that and I hope it's somehow useful. <laughs>